A few hours earlier, my father had been killed. It would break her heart. Ningal Dani and Thai. Ningal Dani and Sagodari. Through MK Stalin Ji, Srimati Sonia Gandhi Ji, Tirumati Kanimodi Karunanidhi Ji, Srimati Mahbubha Mufti Ji, Srimati Subhasini Ali Ji, Srimati Supriya Sule Ji, Srimati Lesi Singh Ji, Srimati Ani Raja Ji, Srimati Rakhi Bidlan Ji, Srimati Dimple Yadav Ji, Sushmita Dev Ji, it is an honor for me to be here today to commemorate the 100th birthday of Tiru K. Karunanidhi and share the stage on this special meeting for women with all of you. 32 years ago, on the darkest night of my life, I first set foot on this land of Tamil Nadu. I was here to collect my father's shattered body. I was 19 years old and my mother was just a few years younger than I am today. As the door of the plane opened, the night grabbed us and drew us in. But I was not afraid of it because the worst thing I could have imagined had already happened. A few hours earlier, my father had been killed. I had walked towards my mother that night, knowing that the words I was to speak would break her heart. Yet I spoke them, and I watched as the light of happiness was extinguished from her eyes forever. We walked down the stairs of the plane, onto the tarmac, of Minambakam Airport Terminal, shocked and alone. Then suddenly, as if sent by the embarrassed gods who had failed us, a crowd of women dressed in blue saris surrounded us. They were ladies who worked at the airport. They held my mother in their arms and cried inconsolably with her as if they were all my mothers as if they too had lost their beloved. In those shared tears, a bond formed between me, between my heart and the women of Tamil Nadu that I can neither explain nor ever erase. Ningal Dani and Thai. Ningal Dani and Sagodari. Inge Uguludan. Irupadai, naan perumayang, naan perumayag karudugiren. Indri naan, na mannai varai patri, pesapogiren. India natin, pengalai patri, pesapogiren. I am here to remind you that we are the strength of this proud and beautiful nation which is our motherland. My sisters, no matter how rich we are or how poor we are, no matter whether we live in big cities, small towns or villages, no matter how well educated we are or how much lack of opportunity we have faced, we are the bedrock upon which our families and our societies are built brick by brick. We are the ones that carry the weight of our society on our shoulders. We do this with grace and courage. We do it with tenacity and strength of will. And our capacity to absorb pain and suffering is immense. We are proud of these qualities which have been passed on in our bones through generations and generations of oppression. But my sisters, 
I am here to remind you that we are more than this. We are greater than our ability to bear suffering. We are the ones that nurture and hold, that give to our children and to all those around us unfailingly. We are the ones who teach courage, the ones who teach love. It is us who understand forgiveness and us who know how to fight fearlessly in the face of adversity. We are the workforce powering our nation forward and we are the millions of young women aspiring towards a better future. We know how to rise from the darkest night to claim a new dawn. We have a light within each one of us that is capable of shining brighter than the sun. But that light has never been allowed the freedom and joy to shine in its fullness. செய்திகள் நூறு நாள் தோறும் காலை ஆறு பத்து மணிக்கு மற்றும் இரவு ஒன்பது மணிக்கு நமது நியூஸ் தமிழ் தொலைக்காட்சியில் காணத்தவராதீர்கள்